All right. So we're gonna make kimchi soup today. I'm trying to like move everything around so I can actually read comments on here and answer. All right, I love kimchi soup. That's kind of been like my all time favorite. And It's kind of delayed on the thing here, so let me just shut this other one off. I don't know. Maybe I can scroll back and read the comments later on. All right. So there's going to be basic ingredients that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need pork butt. You're going to need some tofu. I like using the firm. You need some beef broth. You need some sesame oil. Rice wine vinegar, anchovy paste. Uh, what else? Of course, kimchi. And red pepper paste. Oh, and garlic. I always have to have garlic. So I'm going to keep most of these ingredients still in the fridge while it's cooking. So I'm going to start with uh, browning the pork butt. Let me find my garlic. Turn like medium high. Now I don't know about everybody else, but I like garlic. So I kind of do a big heaping spoon. Take some of the uh, sesame seed oil, about two tablespoons in there. A little wooden spoon. And we're going to grab the pork butt. Now, what's nice about the pork butt is you can cut it yourself, but I have kind of like a, a cool butcher at the uh, store I go to. And um, he does it for me all the time. So, let's see if we get the right sizes. It's a little bit bigger. I like to have half the size, but it is what it is. I suppose I could always kind of cut it up. Cut some of these big chunks off. So the fattier the better on it. Um, another rule of thumb for like your kimchi, you're going to want to have aged kimchi, nothing that's like a couple weeks old. It's Usually it's the, the older the better, the more uh, bitter it is. And then what you end up doing is you end up adding a little bit of sugar to it and it'll cut back on the acidity. So just cleaning off the bone, I don't like things going to waste. My guy's pretty cool when I go there, but I know he was kind of in a rush. And normally what I do too is I uh, put this over a bed of rice, um, but unfortunately when I went to Cub, there was no rice left. Um, so all I have is maybe like two cups, that's enough for like me, but I'm gonna actually bring this to the store tomorrow. So people, if people wanna come in and they wanna try it, they can, I'll put it in a slow cooker and let it heat up. So I'm just kind of dent, cut these down a little bit smaller chunks. So, and you never want to go with like super lean pork. You want to go with a little bit fattier. It adds more flavor. So right now what I have in there is I have a little bit of garlic, a little bit of sesame oil. I'm putting the pork butt in there right now. These pieces are a little bit too big. So if you come to the store tomorrow, I'll actually bring this in. And you can try it. I love it. This is like one of my favorite meals. Uh, my old neighbor, Ho Sing, and his wife Bao used to make it all the time. And of course, I fell in love with it. And long and behold, um, 
she told me how to make it. So I started making it and slowly but surely my recipe started tasting like hers. I messaged him last night so I read some recipes that you can put tomatoes, like fresh tomatoes in there and they were just like, no, don't do it. So I'm not going to do it, but otherwise I had fresh tomatoes from the farmer's market yesterday. So I think I grabbed, I think this was like two pounds of uh, pork butt. Cutting it down a little bit, probably half inch cubes, if I can find it. Now I've tried this with steak and I wasn't too impressed with the steak. I just always made it with pork, so. I've been salivating about this all day long to make this, so hopefully you guys stop in tomorrow and try this. Too bad you guys don't have smell of it, maybe just the smell of vision you get a nice smell right now. Alright, let me wash my hands. pepper in there, some fresh ground pepper, a little bit of salt, turn up the heat a little bit. So all I'm trying to do is really just brown this because I'm going to end up having it simmer um, and cook for a half hour. So while I'm doing that, is I'm going to actually cut down the cabbage as well. I'm going to look at some of the messages of anybody. Yeah, I'm starting a cooking show. No, it's just, um, kimchi soup is my all-time favorite. And I've had a lot of people asking me about it. And I was just like, well, everybody's asking me about the recipes. Head cabbage, some greens. If I don't use that many greens, it's going to take like one dash of it. So, we get this rinsed off. So I always rinse off all my veggies and take off the top layer, just because I don't know if they sprayed anything on them. So, perfect. So while it's cooking, I will cut down some of these greens and cabbage. I'm a foodie, I've always been a foodie, so that's how people get me to do stuff is offer food because I'm all about the food. I'm trying to find a bowl to get some of this stuff in. Here it is. God, it smells really good right now. Smashing the head of the cabbage down. So. So I know a lot of people don't put extra cabbage in it. I like putting extra cabbage. Kind of goof on cabbage. So. Oh 
always been a cabbage person, so well, I haven't say, won't say always. Um, and the big trick is to cut it in small pieces. It's tough when people eat it when they have big pieces of cabbage. So I like cutting it down in smaller pieces. It's gonna take longer to cut this cabbage, but I guess I've been doing this for a while, so it doesn't take me long to do it. Today, cooking with the shrimp shack, we are gonna make kimchi soup. So it's browning up kind of nice. So we'll see some more time. Can I kind of high? Hey Stacy. Hey Rory. I'll post this video too for the people that couldn't make it. I know a lot of people want me to do it. Some people didn't want me to do it. Um, hopefully Amanda Lupton watches this. Uh, just because she wanted to learn how to make this so when I go out there. But I told her I'd make it. I get some other stuff prepped. I got Baby Yoda here. Baby Yoda's helped me cook. Now what I like to do is I like to put the, um, the red pepper paste in there to kind of flavor the meat. Now some people only do a little bit. I like a lot of it. This is me personally. Like some people do like half that amount. I like the taste of it. It's not super hot, but it's one of those things where it's a different unique flavor that growing up I never tasted. So I think that's why I like it. It's like a unique taste to me. The sauce off the spoon. This has got some good smell now too. So now, if you take a look, it's got a nice little red tint to it. And then anchovy paste gives it the more natural umami flavor to it. I bought another stick of it, so hopefully this is enough for me. Oh yeah. I'd say put about the size of a nickel in there of anchovy paste. You don't have to put anchovy paste if you don't want to. I like it. You can't really taste the anchovies. All right, I'm gonna put the veggies in here. So I got cabbage. I got some mustard greens. Kind of let them move down a little bit. Now the rice wine vinegar is pretty cool. I end up adding maybe a quarter cup. 
Now, but the trick to it is to also go over and add a pinch of sugar or some sugar in there to take off that acidity. Kimchi. This is fresh yesterday. Um, farmer's market, gar Gardens Fire. I've never tried this stuff before. It smells really good. Let's see if I have any of the other stuff I normally use. No, I don't. Now, some people only add three quarter of a cup. I do a whole bottle. some beef broth. Put it on high so it can get hot, so it can boil. So good. I think I'll add some more beef broth to it. This is getting pretty. Well, it's going to wilt down, so maybe I'll let it wilt down a little bit. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's greens. And then I kind of go by taste if I need to add some more of the seasoning on there. Taste the flavor. Mm -hmm. Gonna add some cream style red pepper. Now, if I was, if I really like people. Over here, I have some um, pink reaper salt, and I have some black ghost right here if they really like hot stuff. And then I like it when you eat your food, it's not so hot that you burn your taste buds, but hot enough where, you know, your head starts sweating and stuff. That's, that's good, healthy heat. Don't forget the mung sausage. <clears throat> no mung sausage in this. Just the pork butt. Hey, Pink, have you ever made it with tomatoes? I mean, since you're watching right now. I know Ho Singh never made it with tomatoes, and he says don't do it. But I read a couple recipes that you could add um, tomatoes to it. Trying to get it melted down. I'm going to add some more beef for this. I'm going to bring it in the store tomorrow. So if more people want to come get it, they can. But if they don't come get it, guess what? It's more leftovers to me. I love left leftovers. to it that has watered it down. So we want to get this to almost like a rolling boil and then put it down on simmer. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll add the tofu in there. That's good. That's good if I do say so myself. 
So, like I said, I use this firm tofu. So you gotta drain it and then cut it. So let me go over here and drain the water and then I'll cut it down. So like when Bao used to make it, she used to make it in um, like bigger cubes and stuff. I kind of make it in smaller ones. So I just cut it right in the container. So it's nice because as it sits overnight, it's going to absorb some of the, the juice and the flavors. Oh, it gets so much better. some rice going for me too because I like brown rice. I think, I think there's two cups in there. I see there's two cups. water boiling for the rice. So who's going to come in tomorrow and grab some of this? I'm bringing it all in. So if you want to end up taking it home, you got to bring your own Tupperware in though. But I'll bring it in a slow cooker and I'll just keep it warmed up during the day. And you guys can actually have some kimchi soup. I love it. Yeah. Can I add some more red pepper paste? Poach an egg in here as well. Like when you got it on a nice rolling boil, you can poach an egg. I know a lot of people do that where they poach eggs and they have this with it. Um, this only gets better as the days go by. Ooh, that looks really good. So like I said, when I started, I, I uh, I browned the, the pork butts in some sesame oil, a little bit of salt and pepper in there, and um, as it simmers and, and cooks, it'll cook the rest of the pork the way I want it. Yeah, Rory, I mean, it's, 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 it's a good thing. It's, you know, I love this stuff. Let me get my rice measured out. I should get a rice cooker because I cook rice all the time. Unfortunately, like I said, Cup Foods was sold out of rice. So it's only what I have left. So hopefully I got two cups in here. Wow. I 
had exactly two and a half cups of rice left. So let's add another half cup of water. Alright, so now I have a nice little rolling boil. So I'm going to reduce the heat so I can cook up. I'm kind of hungry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out medium. I've been salivating about this all day long. But now I'm going to add the tofu. Alright, so I cubed it in small little cubes like this. Yes, I did wash my hands, guys, if you watched in the beginning of the video. Let's put the tofu in there. Turn it down a little bit more. It's a little bit too warm. My neighbor's waiting for this, too. I wonder what my neighbors think all the time because the amount of stuff that I cook here, like I've done Indian food, I've done Korean, I've done a lot of different ethnic food here, and it always smells so good here. I just wonder if they're like, what the hell is that boy cooking again? Yes, I rinsed off my spoon in between me taking taste. God, it's good. I could just drink that straight. Straight kimchi soup juice. All right, so my rice water is at a rolling boil right now. So let's add the rice. Reduce it down to kind of simmer, cover it. Cover! Ooh, I want some soup now. That was the one thing, like when I used to go to whole Sings and Bows, I used to be so impatient while they're cooking <coughs> that I would just want to go over and eat it right away. And um, they used to say, no, no, you gotta wait a half hour. So I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to look back at my camera. I miss those guys, they moved to St. Paul. Now Hosing used to say, oh yeah, I'll come visit you all the time. He never makes it out this way anymore. I don't blame him. So that's basically it for making the kimchi soup. Let it sit here for a half hour. Um, kind of simmer and cook the, the cabbage down and cook the rest of the meat. Um, rice is pretty much, you know, you know, I can shut it off now because it's going to sit in hot water. Um, that's about it. So I just, I just put some rice in a bowl and I just put this on top of it here. It's got this unique flavor that, like I said, I, I can never find anything else that tastes the same way. And I think it's the red pepper paste on it. Um, now the red pepper paste isn't like super hot. It's kind of like a mild taste to it. It just adds a different flavor to it. Um, now I just add like a whole head of cabbage with it too just because I like I like cabbage in my meal. So but yeah look at this. It's just you got big chunks of ki uh, uh, kimchi in there. You got cabbage. You got mustard greens. You got pork butt. You have Tofu, ooh that tofu, ooh that tofu looks so good. But, yeah, so I'll bring it to the store tomorrow and I'll put it in a slow cooker. If, if any of you guys want some, you have to bring a Tupperware if you're close by. And you can grab some, I'll, I'll see if I can pick up some um, disposable bowls and some spoons and stuff if you guys want to eat there. Because I know I wanted to go over and once it got better and we can start traveling, I wanted to go over and have barbecues on the weekend. 
Um, unfortunately, with the way it's at, we still can't. Last week we made um, um, fajitas and we made burgers another day. And they went over great, but nobody was there right when we were cooking it, so we just ate it. So I'm a fatty like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit and simmer for the half hour. And then I'll take some pictures of, of the top and I'll join in with this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, super simple, easy recipe. If you think that your family's not going to eat it, just cook it one time. Um, if, if the biggest thing is if they eat cabbage. You know, if they don't eat cabbage, they probably won't eat it. Um, so all the stuff, even though like Whole Foods, like all the, the, the red pepper paste and, and uh, the rice wine vinegar I just got over at um, uh, Whole Foods, um, everything else you can pretty much get at Cub Foods. Um, you know, the anchovy paste, so um, I highly suggest that you guys try this and stuff, and um, yeah, if you find a better way to do it or something that tastes a little bit better, let me know, and I can always try it in my next recipe when I make this and stuff. So I know this is not, has, has nothing to do with shrimp, but like if you go on my personal page, it's all about food. Uh, I'm a giant food person. I love food. Um, as you can tell, I got the Corona baby, baby. So... Um, yeah, just um, thank you for watching, and I will actually post this video, and I think I might put it on uh, YouTube too, just because people might like it. Um, Stacy, it's not that spicy. Like, I'll, I'll try it right now, and I'll tell you. Like on a scale of one to ten, I think it's like a three. Um, you can add more stuff to it like they have cream salt red pepper you could add to it um, you could add I mean you cut it all I have like I said I have uh, pink reaper it's one of the hottest uh, peppers out there I have that as a salt you could add that in there if you want hot hotter I have black ghost peppers um, with pepper in there that's pretty warm too and then I have uh, a cherry bomb hot sauce. I like keeping it this way because I like the whole like natural taste of it. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I will take a picture of this when it's all done and what it all looks like. Uh, like I said, I gotta let it sit here for a half hour. I put my timer on and let it simmer. Let me see if I can clear this out. Timer twenty five minutes. All right. Well, thank you guys and. Uh, Baby Yoda says thank you too.